1992 Ford Sierra Estate GLX in this light blue. It's a two litre petrol, this one. Pretty old thing, this, back when the cars were meant for the whole family. You know, we on a weekend trip, a good little daily driver, this one, it really is. Nice, nice car, this, right? Bodywork wise, we're going to start off with the bonnet. We've got a few little dings here and there on the bonnet, but it's all nice and clean, nice and straight. As you come down, you'll see the little, there's a few little dents here and there on it. Camera's not really going to pick them up, but they are there, so I'm, you know, they're there, definitely. A few little stone chips down the nose cone. All the light lenses are lovely and clean on this one. Really nice colour, this one in person. I don't know if the camera's quite picking up. What a nice, fresh looking car that is, and I think it is the colour that's helping that. Light lenses, again, all clean. Bumper corners are lovely and straight as we go around the bumper. All nice and straight. A few stone chips, but no scuffs, so major dings or dents anywhere that 1993 in the year as well as we come up the driver's wing sort of it's a very light blue with that dark blue sort of coat line pinstripe down the side we go around the arches all nice and clean nice and tidy down there we'll have a look good look at the sill all looks good up there there's the driver's front wing we'll jump on the roof we'll come back down the driver's front door a couple of little marks across the leading edge of the roof a couple of little dings there on the leading edge of the roof sunroof model with the roof rack Rest of the roof looks nice and straight. No corrosion around the sunroof for that, see, which is nice to see. Nice straight old bus, this one really is. A few little bits down here on the wind strips. As you come down, you've got your door protectors on. That door's all nice and clean and straight. A little bit at the bottom there, you can see that. We'll do the rest of the sill and come up. The driver's rear door, show you how straight that is. As we go along, chrome trim's nice and clean. No scuffs across there. A few little marks in the paint on the driver's rear door. As we go up and around, see the seals there, they look okay. Come down on that rear arch, we're gonna go in the arch with some dodgy camera work. So you can have a good look at that. Outside, we've got a little bit of a ding here. And I saw a little bit of a discrepancy in the paint, but you know, the camera's now touching the body work to see that. You can't see the little ding there. As we go down the rear quarter, nice and straight, no major scratching around the fuel cap, which is okay. A few little chips, but nothing major. As we go around the rear bumper again, nice and straight, rear lights are nice and clear. Up across the rear of the tailgate again, all nice and straight. You can see that there, nice and clean. Rear bumper is lovely. Tow bar fitted there, we've got seven pin on that. As we go around the rear bumper, no major scuffs or scrapes. A few little bits on the top here, but nothing to complain about really there overall. Nice and straight, nice honest little thing this really is. I say a little, it's not little. Light lenses are good on this side as well as we go up around that rear quarter again. Nice, honest, good, usable classicness, really is. Perfect one to nip the family out, camping trip on the weekend, stay at the local car show. Again, in that rear arch, we've had a little bit of paint work at some point in its life. You can see that there, sort of scum, colour discrepancy as well. As we go down the sill, that looks okay. Passenger rear door is all nice. Again, a little bit of lift in there on the trim. Let's come down the door on the drive on the passenger front door again. No chips on that. It's got a door protector on for a reason. Same again on this side. A little bit of bubbling on the wind strip. The rest of the door is all okay, nice and straight. Onto the passenger front wheel arch. As we go around the wheel arch again, lovely and straight. Nice, honest one. This it really is. You can see that down both sides there. On the interior now. Driver's front door card is all nice and clean. Seat itself, got a tiny bit of a little bit of a nick in the bolster, but the bolster's nice and firm. The seat itself's all nice and comfy. No problems with that. Across the top of the dashboard's all good. Center console's all nice and original. As you come down, five speed manual, electric front windows there. 97,000. It's at 97,820 miles there. So good mileage, show you that there. See that all nice and clean, nice and easy to be seen as well, nice and easy to read. Passing your rear, uh, driver's rear door card again, nice condition. The rear seats are all nice and tidy as well, no rips or tears in that dark grey carpets look all okay. Headlining looks good as well. A good look at that there. As we come round into the boot, 
Boot carpet's nice and clean. It doesn't seem to be marked. We're going to have a little look on the boot floor there. Got a jack in there. We'll lift this side up as well so we'll have a look in there. Spare wheel nice and tidy and clean in there. Spare wheels there as well. Spare steel wheel. Boot carpet, like I say, is all good. Plastic trims are nice on both sides. Passenger rear door card. I've got a few little marks in the passenger rear door card, but overall not deteriorating from the rest of the sort of condition of this car is inside and out. And passenger front door card is all okay. The seat again, nice and firm, showing very little wear to that drive right there. To the, the, I'll get my words out today, sorry guys. Very little wear to this bolster here at all. Again, no rips or tears in there. Engine bay wise, again, same condition as we go around, nice and clean. That front slam panel is all nice and clean as well, as are the strut tops. Nice and tidy now, we'll kind of hover back a little bit, kind of fire it up there. Fire it up, any hesitation there at all. Starting up as you'd expect, these old Fords always do. Clearly been looked after this one, nice, nice, honest estate car, good family car. Good daily user or weekend car, whatever you want to do these days. Nice and clean and tidy, happy with that one. There you have it, the Ford Sierra GLX Estate.